Hi, I am Preeta and welcome to Dakshin Curry. Today, we will be doing a recipe using one of the most basic ingredients which is used in our kitchen pantry. That is a curry leaf. We usually use curry leaf in the form of a tadka or for making paste, you know, for grinding it into powders. Today, we will be making a main course which I will be showing you using curry leaf. So, if you want to know more, stay tuned. Let's not waste any time. Let's look at the ingredients which are required in this recipe. The main ingredient of course is curry leaves. I'm using one small bowl of curry leaves. I'll be using one bowl of cooked rice. This is going, this is going to be enough to serve one person. Apart from that, we are going to be making a curry leaf powder. So the ingredients which are required for that is going to be around a teaspoon of oil. I will be using a teaspoon of mustard seeds, a teaspoon of urad dal, some pepper, uh, I'll be using around a teaspoon of tur dal, some more curry leaves which we'll be using at the end of the recipe while tossing the rice, a little bit of coconut, some chunks of coconut, a bit of hing, I'm using khada hing, but if you don't have khada hing, you can also use hing powder, not a problem. I'm also using some dried red chilies here, around three to four, depending on the spice level. Uh, salt to taste, a teaspoon of chana dal, a little bit of tamarind, very little, just to give that khata flavor to the recipe. And now I think we shouldn't waste time. Let's look at the method. Okay, let's start. The first thing that we are going to add is oil. A dash of oil, that's it, just to roast the spices. Allow the oil to get a little hot. And once that happens, we'll be adding the rest of the ingredients. I'll be starting with Urad dal. Urad dal is going to add that crunch and a little bit of body to the recipe. So you'll add the urad dal and the chana dal. You can add it simultaneously and allow them to cook together. You can add it one by one. I'm adding a small and I'll be heating it up. You have two options. Either you make this recipe using uh, just the uh, the curry leaves which are you know toasted dry roasted or you can toss it in oil also so i completely leave that to you the flavor will be different though now because i'm going to be using coconut in this recipe please uh, note that uh, the shelf life of this powder will not be as much as when you don't use coconut so what i also suggest is if you want you can uh, avoid the coconut you can use it separately in the recipe this powder is good to uh, be stored in an airtight container, it go stays good for around a week or so. So once we are done with this, I will be adding the rest of the ingredients around small spoon of pepper. You need to hurry so that your spices don't burn. Add the dried red chilies, a small dash of tamarind, very little, just needs to get heated small chunk of coconut, a little bit of hing, and last but not the least, the curry leaves. Just remember that we just have to give it a stir, that's it. Curry leaves are going to cook pretty fast. Curry leaves is filled with so much goodness. It's so good for your blood circulation. It also promotes hair growth. And because we are going to you know, uh, grind it into a powder. You know, there are many people who don't like to chew curry leaves. You know, they don't like curry leaves in their mouth. So this is a very good way of uh, using curry leaf in your daily diet. And this spice mix is very versatile. You can also use it in other recipes. Now, you can see, you know, the curry leaves are drying up. I'll be adding a dash of salt. Now, because I will be using this powder, once you grind it into a powder, like I told you that you can store it, I am adding the salt. If you are going to be making it just to suffice that particular recipe that day, you can avoid the salt now and just add it when you are making the rice. So now, masala is almost ready. What I am going to do is allow it to cool and once it's cooled enough, we will grind it into a powder. So our spice mix is ready, it's cooled down and what I've done is I've ground it into a powder and this is how it looks. Now what I have done is I have coarsely ground it, I, like, I don't like it, like it you know into a fine powder. 
but uh, the choice is completely yours i like to see the grains of white and green in my powder so this is how it's going to look and what are we waiting for let's finish the recipe so to finish the recipe i have a pan here i'm again going to add some oil around a teaspoon or so and once it's hot enough i'll be adding in the basic that kind ingredients which are required to make this now like i told you is a very versatile powder trust me i mean if you don't have your sandwich masala you know you can actually sprinkle this on your sandwiches also and eat it and that's the goodness i mean if your child is not having curry leaves what better way than to you know in you know induce this in his or her diet so the oil is hot enough let us add the mustard around the teaspoon or so allow it to crackle now that the mustard is crackling we'll add a little bit of urad dal now i know that we have already added the urad dal it's just that i like that crunchy texture in my mouth so i'm adding it if you don't wish to add this you can avoid it not a problem now i'll be adding small sprig of curry leaves Wow, what an amazing sound. Now once this is done, I'll be adding the curry leaf powder around 3 to 4 teaspoons. It's around 1 and 1/2 tablespoons will also do. Give it a quick stir. And once you have done that, I'll be adding the rice now. I'm using the short grain rice. I mean, that's what South Indians usually do, but uh, you're free to use basmati rice also. Hmm, smells really good. And it's such an easy recipe to make. I mean, if your powder is already ready, you know, in the fridge, all you need to do is toss it up with a bit of ingredients. You can also in a way you can add a bit of onions and garlic also in this if you wish to there are many people who don't like uh, the flavor of garlic so they can avoid but those who like it can and if you are a person who is a curry leaf freak like i am uh, you can add a bit more of the powder not a problem at at what time of the process you are adding it you can add it later also I like the color to be a little dark so I'm adding a little more just being a little generous and last but not the least salt to taste please remember that we have already added salt uh, in the powder so keep that in mind give it a quick stir and woof your curry leaf rice is ready to serve So curry leaf rice is ready guys you can have it just like that or you can have it with fresh curd and i hope you like this recipe please try it out we are waiting for your feedback do not forget to subscribe to india food network and until next time it's preeta signing off bye